Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing my current beauty favorites. I don't normally do monthly favorites on my channel. I just kind of do them whenever I am inspired to do them. So I wanted to share them with you today, especially because the Sephora sales coming up. So I will point out which of these I think are good buys during the Sephora sale. So if you're interested in seeing my current beauty favorites, keep watching. Thanks again for clicking on my video. So again, we're talking beauty favorites today. These are current beauty favorites. I wanted to, on some of them, reiterate how much I love them because the Sephora sale is coming up. I did also film a Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I did that in a get ready with me style so that you guys could see what, how the look came out, how the products performed. So I'll definitely link that up here and down below. And then um, if I have videos for any of the products that I mentioned today, I will also make sure and link those. Before we get started, don't forget to Give me a like if you like what you see. Consider subscribing. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We do a lot of like daily eye looks there. So if that's your thing, make sure and go check me out. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today I have some makeup and skincare. So I will go ahead and go with the skincare first and then we'll get into the makeup. So I wanted to mention this cleanser that I'm currently loving. Um, I am going to repurchase my Tatcha Rice Wash Cleanser. I really love that. That's kind of like a holy grail staple in my skincare routine. But this year for your Ulta birthday gift, um, they have the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser as a gift. It's a pretty good size. This is about four ounces. This is what the bottle looks like. And it, it was the Ulta birthday gift. And um, I tried it. It's actually a really nice cleanser. It's very clean, but it doesn't strip your face. I've mentioned in the past that those are cleansers that I really um, tend to stay away from, even though I have oily skin. When you feel that squeaky clean feeling on your skin, that means that you've probably stripped your face of essential oils that you need. I don't like that. This is very, very clean. It almost reminds me of the CeraVe facial cleanser, except it's not as like hydrating as that one. It's a little bit less hydrating and it's really clean, leaves the face feeling good, washes off the makeup really good. Now I do a two-step cleansing routine at night when I wash off my makeup, um, but this is the second cleanser that I go in with and it works really, really well. So um, I wanted to point this one out. The next one is a new to me brand. I've been testing this brand for about three weeks now, I wanna say, um, but I'm talking about the May Love. And this is a brand that I've seen mentioned by a lot of creators in the past, especially skincare th enthusiasts, you know? I had never really ordered anything from them, but I was in need of a vitamin C serum. And typically the one that I go with is the Drunk Elephant, the C Firma. Um, but it's $88 and I wanted to try something different, you know, and see how my skin did because what normally happens if I deviate from the drunk elephant is that I'll get off of it, I'll use another one, and it just doesn't perform as well as my C Firma from Drunk Elephant. So I will eventually go back. Um, but this one I have to say I'm really loving. So I'm talking about the May Love Glow Maker Serum. It's got vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, it's got vitamin E, ferulic acid, and sodium hyaluronate, which is another hydrator. And so it's been really, really good. I actually have really loved um, that I have not lost my glow. So in the past, that's what happens is I will get off of my Drunk Elephant C Firma and then all of a sudden my skin starts to look a little dull and it's just not as bouncy, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I know that that is directly the effects of a vitamin C. That hasn't happened with this serum, so I'm very excited to kind of keep watching my skin and see what it does because it's one fluid ounce, but it retails for like, I think about $30 or less than that. Like it's very affordable. So if this is a really good one, I'll keep you guys updated because I'm really loving what I'm seeing, but I'm only three weeks in. The next skincare item I talked about in my Sephora recommendations, this is the Clarence Total Eye Lift. This is a lift replenishing eye concentrate. So it's an eye serum. It's not going to replace your eye cream if you are someone that likes to use an eye cream, um, which I do, but it's the first step before your eye cream. So immediately after I wash my face, I go in with an essence and I just kind of pat it in. And then right after that, I go in with my eye serum and you just put it on your fingers. I like to put it on my ring fingers. Those are the ones that are the most gentle I find. And so I'll just kind of go around the orbital bone. Once you're done patting that product in, you kind of tap over your eyelashes and it actually says to do that in the instructions and it 
kind of doubles as a lash serum. Um, I don't know if it's a lash growth serum or just to fortify the lashes. I have noticed a positive impact on my lashes, but I do use a lash growth serum. Um, just wanted to point that out, but I'm loving this. This is part of the Sephora sale. It's also a very pricey item. It retails for $89. So during the Sephora sale, if you're gonna save 20%, if you're rouge, it's a good time to try something like this. Okay, now I have a skincare fail. I think I have one beauty fail too, but it's the May Love. Now it's the same brand, and this is called the May Love the Sun Protector and it is their SPF. This is a sheer mineral sunscreen, SPF 30, broad spectrum, and um, I didn't like it, you guys. It was a little too tacky for my liking, and more than anything, like the sunscreens that I like to go with are sunscreens that are gonna look good with and without makeup, and so this just does not do well under makeup. I tried it with several of my top, top foundations, and every single time, it might face just felt gooey and sticky all day long it got super super oily in this area and then it would make my foundations look cakey in this area and i just don't appreciate that like i ain't got time for it okay and so i just didn't like it so i wanted to mention it because for people that are obsessed with sunscreen like i am sometimes you'll try different sunscreens if you were on the may love uh website looking at the glow maker I would say skip this SPF. There's so many good ones out there. Okay, now let's get started on the beauty portion of my favorites. So I'm gonna sort of go in the order in which I apply them. I don't have every step, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first item that I want to, again, reiterate in this video as a current beauty favorite is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Um, they have an illuminating primer as well, but of course I have oily combo skin, so that's not really gonna work for me, but I picked up a mini of this one. I had heard a lot of good things. It was actually between this one and the new Tom Ford Mattifying Primer, and I went with this one. I saw better reviews online, and I can tell you that I love it, love it, love it. Um, it doesn't, it's like a pore diffusing primer, a little silicone-y. Um, it doesn't claim to mattify, but it does. Like it, it controls the shine, I should say. Um, I still do have to blot at least once or twice, especially on, on longer days, but it keeps my shine in control. It doesn't look like I'm a big greasy mess, and I really, really like that. It also makes every single foundation that I've tried this with, which I'm, I've probably tried this with like over 10 foundations, just look better. And so I really, really like that. I am almost like... I'm a little more than halfway done. So I might pick up another mini only because one of the primers on my wish list is the new um, Hourglass Magic Vanish primer that I wanna try. So this one's a current favorite. If you struggle with texture or with the pores here in this area and a little bit of oil issues, this is the one for you. The next primer that I wanna talk about is one that I've used in the past, kind of ran out of it and then went off to use something else and I came back to it because what was happening is um, I was getting a lot of creasing in my eyeshadow and I wasn't sure why. I was using my MAC Paint Pot and even that wasn't enough. And so I went back to this one because I remember it being really good. I'm talking about the Ulta Matte Eye Primer. Um, it retails for like less, like between six and ten dollars their ulta brand is a little bit more affordable and i really really love this you guys like it is a mattifying primer you are going to put it on and it's a very quick dry down none of my eyeshadows have been creasing at all and i'm really happy about that um lately you know it's spring in texas and so there's a lot of pollen in the air and a lot of allergens and so sometimes my eyes get watery or i'm sneezing or whatever and even if my eyes get teary i still don't get any creasing in my lids and so i wanted to share that because this is something that you know most of us would just kind of bypass like i know i don't necessarily look at the ultra brand or the sephora brand very often uh, but this one's a really really good mattifying eye primer let's stick with the eyes and let's talk about mascara so right now the mascaras that i'm wearing today one is kind of growing on me the other one i instantly loved but the one that's kind of growing on me is this new mac stack mascara um, the claims on it is that it's going to lengthen it, volumize your lashes, um, and you can stack, stack on top of stack, so layer on top of layer without it getting clumpy or like too thick or like that spidery type of look. I absolutely love it. Um, it took me a while. Like it had to, I've had it for about two weeks now. I feel like a week, a week and a half in, it started to dry down just a tiny little bit, and that's when I started loving it. Also, before this mascara, my routine was to go in with a light layer 
of like my Bare Minerals um, Lengthening Mascara or my Chantecaille uh, Longest Lashes Mascara. And then I would top it with my Pat McGrath Dark Star. Um, and with this one, like it doesn't play well with other mascaras. So I like to layer different mascaras for different, you know, effects. This one works well on its own and it doesn't play well with other mascaras. So I will say that. So I'm still playing with it, but right now it really does a number on my lashes. I don't know if you can see there. Like that is long, you guys. Like I don't have long lashes, not too significant, but this one is kind of impressing me. So I wanted to share it. The next mascara is also MAC mascara, which is so funny. I've never used MAC mascaras before, but this is the MAC Extended Play Gigaback Lash Mascara. This is not a new mascara, um, but what I really, really liked about it is that the wand is so thin, you guys, and it helps you do really, really detailed work on the lower lashes. I mean, it goes on really nicely. Sometimes if the wand is too, like, chubby or fat, you know, you'll kind of get mascara on the bottom of those lashes. Not with this one. It's a brush that you can get very detailed with in the lower lashes. I even go into it like the inner lashes on the, on the top there and it does not smudge or wear off down here. I did mention that um, one of the things that I have trouble with is I kind of have tight set eyes, and so sometimes the mascara will kind of smudge down here. I was using a waterproof mascara and that was still happening. That doesn't happen with these, that doesn't happen with this mascara, and it doesn't make my lashes too, vol too voluminous, too thick, it just separates them, makes them look nice and finished, and I really like that. So I would recommend checking this one out. Okay, continuing with the eye area. So for about a year to a year and a half, I've been using the Revolution um, Soap Brow Styler, and um, basically what you do is it comes with some soap in this area. It's all gunky. Uh, but it comes with a brush and some soap. You wet it, you spray it with water. I use a setting spray. And then you comb your lashes out to get that really feathered, fluffy, bushy brow effect. Um, and I liked it. I've been using it for a while. But um, what I noticed is sometimes it would make them a little too crunchy or too thick or too, like, plastered down onto my face and I kind of didn't like that anymore and I wanted something that still had the similar effect but that was a little bit more natural and not as rough on my brows and so I heard of this I think through Rose and Ben probably on her Instagram but it's the Re Makeup Revolution Soap Styler Stick. This is what it looks like here and essentially it's the same concept as this soap brow here, this styler here but in a pen form. Um, you also don't need um, water for this. You just use it as a stick. This is what the applicator tip looks like and it's just a gel. And so it comes with the gel stick on this side, a spoolie on the other, just so that you can you know, work th through it that way. Um, and so what I do is I will fill in my brows with my pencil, whatever pencil I'm using. And then I will go in with this just to kind of set them in place. I don't want them moving. And it's been really nice. It's not as harsh. My brows don't feel as crunchy or hard or anything like that, but it still makes them look really, really good. And so I wanted to share this because it is a newer product. I've been playing with it for a couple weeks and I really, really like it. Okay, I've been interrupted just a little bit, just a few times, but let's keep going. So let's finish off the eyes. I have to give it to the new Adept Cosmetics X Heather Austin palette. You guys, ever since I received it, I have not stopped using it. Like I've used other companion palettes and I'm having a lot of fun like playing with it along with other palettes, but I always want to reach into this. This is so, so good. Um, I did a full video with three looks, I believe. So I'll definitely link that, but it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I think the pre-orders were open again, but even if they're not, um, they, they will have a restock. I mean, it was too popular to not. So I just wanted to quickly show you the, here, look at my pans are a mess now because I've used them so much. Today I'm wearing a Danessa Myricks, like, um, what do they call it? Like a skin fix or light fix, just a cream shadow. And then I went in with this one here, so excited. It's such a beautiful, like taupey, silvery type of shade. It's just gorgeous. 
see if you can see that. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so this is definitely a current favorite. I have every day I try to use other palettes and then I just kind of like at the end will quickly reach into this palette just to kind of, you know, use one of the shimmers or just make it stand out a little bit more. So again, really, really great palette. If you have this or you ordered it and it's on its way, get excited. It is bomb. All right, I don't have any like foundations or anything that I want to mention right now. Um, I did mention one in my Sephora video that I've been loving. Um, but for now, I wanted to focus on some other newer releases. So I want to talk about the new Kaleidos blushes. This released with like their nudes little quad and then they had a smoky quad with like blacks and stuff and then they released two blushes. Here is the first one. See if we can get like a better representation of the shade. This one's in the shade Dream Walk. And then I also got this one, which is in the shade Sunburnt. You see that there? Ooh, that's a perfect representation of the shade. So the reason that I bought these is because it instantly reminded me of those two blushes from Dior from the Backstage Collection that went viral on TikTok. And so they've been sold out forever. Do you guys see? Do you guys see the, what I'm talking about? I'll pop the picture up here of the Dior blushes I'm talking about, but that's what these reminded me of, and I love them so much. Um, I will say that they don't last like all day long, like maybe like five or six, eight hours in. I feel like I could use like a little refresher of my blush, so I will say that, but I believe based on swatches I've seen online of the Dior blushes that they're pretty much like exactly the same shade so if you can't find the Dior ones the Kaleidos ones are a really great option and I'm really liking them the next face product that I want to talk about oh my god I saw Lisa J talk about this and every time she says we need it honey let me tell you we need it okay so what I'm talking about is the new physicians formula butter powder um you know about the butter line they have the butter blushes the butter bronzers which are very very popular and very beautiful but this powder you guys it has the same like mm, coconutty scent to it um, but basically it's a face powder that has like different shades this one's in creamy natural and you have some lighter ones that you can brighten with you have like more of like the nudes there and then a deeper tan there I normally just swirl my pa my powder brush all in there and then just use it as a setting powder um, the brush that I normally use with it um, is the BK Beauty 102 it's just not as dense and it kind of gives a nice airbrush appearance to the face but it is so pretty it makes your face look like butter I mean seriously just like the powder bronzer just like the blush it is the most beautiful 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 powder ever if you're sensitive to scents I, I mean I think the the scent the smell does dissipate pretty quickly but initially it is a punch to the senses because it does have that coconutty smell so I will say that but man this is an A++++ um, $16.99 $15.99 from the drugstore and I love it all right the next one is a blush another blush this is going to be from the unearthly cosmetics sleepover collection that just released recently um, and then the one that I wanted to point out was the cherub blush this is also like that bubblegum type of shade the pinky shade just like the one from Kaleidos um, and I just love it so much it's so girly it's so pinky it's like that Barbie pink um, and if I had to choose because they're both pretty much mm, the Kaleidos is maybe a little bit cooler tone than this one there we go. the Kaleidos is like a little bit cooler tone than this one but if I had to choose one, I think I would go with the Unearthly Cosmetics. I just like it a little bit more. I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. And I just think that Unearthly Cosmetics does powders so well. So I really, really like this blush. I like them all, but I wanted to point this one out from the collection because I thought it was my favorite piece. Okay, the next thing is my that I've been loving, again, is my Powder No Powder by Dior, the Backstage um, collection um, I've been loving this lately and let me tell you why when I bought it I liked it I thought it was good but I mean 
I'm just gonna be honest here. Like I would swirl, 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 and I felt like I like nothing was happening on my face at all. And you know, it just kind of made you think like, is it doing anything? I knew that it was because I also have this one in the shade six N, which is what I use as like a bronzer shade. So I knew that it was doing something, but I just couldn't see it, couldn't feel it, couldn't really see how special it was. And then I heard someone, it's makeup by Cheryl, I think is her, her YouTube name. Um, she had talked me into this little beauty blender puff. It's like a little puff that you use to like put powder on. And she says, when you pair this one, and it's dirty, I'm sorry, but when you pair this little puff with this powder, it is magic. These were meant to work together. And oh my God, was she right. Your face looks so flawless set perfectly. I even use this on my under eyes and I'm very picky with the powders that I use on my under eyes. I only use my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder, but I, with this little sponge, will even set my under eyes and it is perfect, perfect, perfect. Your face looks so, so good. So the way that I use it in my routine, because you're gonna say, you have two powders. So the way that I use it is I'll do my foundation and my concealer and then I set my face with this one. And it's like a gelée formula. It's so beautiful. It looks like nothing, but I can see the smoothing and the blurring effect with this little powder. So this is the way that I use it. Then I do my blush, my highlight, my bronzer, and then I set my entire face with this one. So that's the way that I've been using them in my routine. Um, but I found this little hack by Makeup by Cheryl and I just had to share. Like, if you have this powder, like do yourself a favor and pick this up during the Sephora sale. It's so, so good, you guys. It's like a, like almost like memory foam, it feels. And it's got the special velour on this side that just works so beautiful with powders. And this is like my new rock star combination right here. And the last thing that I brought out that I have been loving so much lately, and I had been, but I didn't wanna talk about it because this company went out of business and then Smashbox brought it back. And I'm talking about the Becca highlighters. Um, we all heard that Becca went under um, and then Smashbox acquired them and brought them back. Well, what I really like that they did is they brought them back, but they didn't change the packaging or the aesthetic of this highlighter, which is kind of iconic in the makeup industry. Um, you know, very, very recognizable when you see it. Um, and so I wanted to talk about this. This is not the champagne pop that is very popular. I did have it, but I gifted that to my sister. This is the Rose Quartz. It's got like a really beautiful, soft, like rosy type of um, shade to it. I'll put it there. It's very subtle. There you go. You can kind of see it pop there, but it just gives like illumination and light in like just the right places. So I normally put it here on the high parts of my cheeks and then I'll put it on the tip of my nose and it just looks very pretty for every day. It looks so subtle, it looks great, it wears all day long and so I wanted to share it because now that I know that they're back and people can actually get them, you know, like it's good to share. So, okay, before we finish up, I have two more products to share with you. They are lip products and oh my God, you guys, I feel like I, I always find like these amazing nude combos because I love nude lipsticks so much. Um, I think it's because I normally wear, you know, colorful eye looks, so I want to tone it down with the lips. But um, the first lip product that I want to share with you is going to be the NYX Lingerie Liquid Matte Lipstick XXL. This is so good. I think I got it at Walgreens or CVS. And this is in the shade Undressed. And it's like the perfect nude for me. I don't know if you can see that perfect perfect nude for me that makes me feel like you know my color lips but a little bit better um, and then it also has a really good lasting power these feel a little bit like the Kaleidos lip clays you know like a little bit moussey and soft but very comfortable they don't get nasty or dry throughout the day and I really love that I can wear this on its own but the perfect lip combo that I have found recently that I really love is this lipstick and then I like to usually top liquid matte lipsticks with a lip gloss because they can be they can be a bit drying and so but what happens and I don't know if you've experienced this but when you have a liquid matte lipstick and then you top it with a lip gloss it's like the oils in the lip gloss start to break down the liquid matte lip and before you know it you get like a nasty little gunky film or the color goes away they don't have the lasting power anymore well I tried topping this lipstick with one of the new Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips 
This one is so good, guys. I have the one in coconut. I bought it for half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And this color was like, of all of them, like the more browny, uh, pinky nude that I found that I thought would work well for my skin tone. So there's the shade there. Okay, so they are very pigmented. The formula on these Juicy Bombs is so good, you guys. It, when you would first apply it, it's a little thick and sticky. And you're like, mm, not sure that I like it. But at, give it a few minutes. After a few minutes, it sinks into the lips. And you get like the balmiest, like most moisturized feeling on your lips. Um, what I can kind of compare it to is like the Dior uh, Lip Maximizers. I feel like that's, the, or the lip oil. That's like the kind of formula that it gives. It's so moisturizing. It will last for hours and hours and hours. But what I noticed is that when I top my liquid matte lip with this Juicy Balm, this formula, it does not break down the liquid matte lipstick. And so I love it because then I have like this long lasting lip color that doesn't break down, but that feels moisturized and hydrated. And so this is what they look like individually. And then on my medium skin tone, this is what you get. And so I really, really am loving this lip combo. I love that I can combine drugstore with, you know, something a little bit more high end. But these are the two that I'm loving right now. I would say during the Sephora sale, these are a great one, great one to pick up because um, I don't know. The, it's just a different formula. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, I might get one more shade during the Sephora sale. I'm not sure, but um, I keep this one in my purse. I don't take it out. It's so good. Okay, my lighting keeps changing because the sun is coming down. It actually looks really pretty, but we're going to wrap this up. So um, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys was fragrance. Um, I have been kind of getting into fragrance lately, and I just buy one at a time because they can get kind of pricey. And so the ones that I want to share today, though, are something that will help us combat that a little bit. So I um, have been sent, over the last year, have been sent some fragrances by Dossier. And if you haven't heard, Dossier is a clean fragrance line. Um, and what they do is they take inspiration from like the very high end, very bougie fragrances, and then they recreate that in some affordable fragrances. So for instance, like the first one that I ever received from them was this one, Ambery Saffron. And this one was inspired by the very bougie and the very expensive Baccarat Rouge 540. And it was pretty funny because I had just discovered that fragrance through like a advent calendar for Selfridges or something. And um, I was just so, so excited to receive this. Um, it is pretty much spot on, you guys. One thing I will say is that it, the only difference is like it doesn't last as long as the original because I do have the original in like a tiny little version. Um, but it smells just like it. The muskiness is there that I love. Let me read you the notes. It's The top notes are saffron, orange blossom. Middle notes are jasmine, plum, cedar wood. And then the base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. And I mean, I don't really know too much about like the whole like, you know, mixology, if you will, of fragrances. But what I can tell you is that it does smell just like my very favorite Baccarat Rouge Tri 40. This one is at 1.7 fluid ounces and it retails for $49. They range anywhere from $39 to $59, depending on um, what notes they have, what essences, that sort of thing. But I really, really like these. And I also like that they come in glass bottles. It's got like a magnetic closure. There you go. It's kind of sleek. It's kind of clean looking. I like how it looks next to all of my other high-end fragrances. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, but then last year, I would say like right around the time that my husband and I got really sick with COVID, they had sent me like a new campaign and they were um, sharing the message that you could layer fragrances. Now, when I buy a fragrance, I'm pretty unsophisticated. Like I like what I like and that's what I tend to buy. But I will only use one at a time. But this campaign was all about like how to layer your fragrances, which I thought was really, really cool. So I picked two out. The two that I picked were Floriental Cedarwood and Gourmand White Flowers. I thought that would be like such a beautiful, fresh, kind of springy scent. Um, I did pick these out in October. <laughs> we're in April almost now. But um, I, these are the ones that I went with, okay? So I'm going to read the cedar one first. And the top notes are mandarin, cardamom, um, 
mandarin, cardamom, orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine sandback, cedar wood. Base notes are heliotrope flower, amber, and vanilla. And oh my gosh, let me just, uh, I'm wearing it today. It's like, ah, uh, uh, what does it smell like? I'm gonna pop here down below what it reminds me of. There's a luxury fragrance that this reminds me of, but it's so, so good. So what you do, and it's got like a little sweetness to it. It's it's delicious, you guys. And I don't really like vanilla scents, but on this one, it's like, you know, it's a base note, it says, but I can't really smell it, and I love what this one smells like. So what you do is you, let, you, you spray it, let it set, you know, for 30 to 60 seconds, and you know, you just kind of let it mix in with your chemistry. Then you take your second fragrance and you layer it to create something new um, that will just kind of mix with your chemistry and it just becomes a really beautiful scent. Even this one, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love it so, so much. Is it the J'adore? Maybe it reminds me of the J'adore. I'll look it up, but I will pop it down below. Okay, so the next one is the Gourmand White Flowers. The top notes are Bergamot green tea, freesia, and berries. So as you can imagine, it's already very light, very springy, very fresh. The middle notes are white flowers, orchid, and rose. And then the base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. I mean, it's like I just heard of Burberry Her today um, because I was binge watching Sephora videos. And um, that one they said is very reminiscent of your Baccarat Rouge 540, but with like a little sweetness and more floral scent to it like for spring that's what this is kind of reminding me of so you already sprayed one mm, i can smell the berries and the freesia oh my god it's so wonderful so you give it a minute like a minute or two and you just let it mix with the first fragrance that you layered on and your chemistry and you just create something so beautiful so uh, all I can tell you is I wanted to share these because they smell so, so good. Um, I love the whole concept of layering. I have to play a little bit with my other fragrances that I've got going on. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that I love this brand so much. I love that it's clean. I love that it's cruelty free and vegan. I love the glass bottles, the magnetic closures. The whole thing is very, very slick very sophisticated i just love love the love the line um i do have a code with them the code is yachty 10 you save 10 percent site-wide um that code can be combined with any other special promotions or special offers that they've got going on on their website so definitely go check it out if you're interested i'm going to tell you that although i absolutely love my ambery saffron which is like my baccarat rouge 540 I am obsessed with the layering technique and method. I think it's such a great idea. I've been thinking about what of my other fragrances I could layer with. Um, I might start with a luxury fragrance and then layer one of these because I already know how these work with my chemistry. Um, but yeah, yeah, just wanted to share. I don't usually talk about fragrance on my channel, but I thought it was worth sharing. Um, I think my code is active for like the next 10 to 20 days. Yachty 10 saves you 10%. Combine it with other offers and there you go. Dossier, thank you so much for sending me these fragrances. Thank you for continuing to work with me. I'm sorry I didn't get to share with you guys right away when I got this, when I got the next two fragrances, but I wanted to share because I really am enjoying them. Um, and now that I'm back to filming, you know, I just kind of was a current beauty favorite for me. And that's it, you guys. Those are my favorites, my current beauty favorites. If you have any questions, please leave those down below. Let me know what you're currently loving in your routine. I'm always looking for new products to try out. Um, and I like to go with recommendations from my audience um, because I feel like something attracted you to my channel. We probably have similar taste in something. And so if you like something, I might like it too. So definitely share those down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like, it's a free way to support my channel. And go follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you're on those platforms. It's a lot of fun over there. We talk about makeup, share makeup looks, new releases, all that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.